everybody. How are you guys all doing? Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am going to show you guys how to put together the Mississippi Roast straight into the crock pot. This is a super popular recipe that I have found on several different Facebook groups that I belong to and so I thought why not put together a video for those that keep asking how to put the Mississippi Roast together. Also, I wanted to share this recipe with those of you who are subscribers on this channel. So I hope that you guys find this video helpful. If you are interested in learning how to put this meal together for an upcoming frozen meal exchange of your own that you may be participating in, then I do have a video already put together so you can find that link down in the description down below. But for the purposes of this video, this is the Mississippi roast going straight into the crock pot. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So to begin with, what we will need is a crock pot and then you will need two to three pounds beef chuck roast steak. You'll need some unsalted butter. And then an optional item that I like to use are baby carrots. And then you'll need a jar of pepperoncinis or pepperoncinis. Uh, you'll need an envelope of au jus gravy mix. You'll also need an envelope of ranch dressing. And then another optional item are the baby Dutch yellow potatoes that I also like to use. That way you don't have to cut them up or peel them and so it works out perfectly. So now we're gonna move on to adding the ingredients into the crock pot. So we're going to remove the lid. And the first item that you're going to add into the crock pot is your beef chuck roast. Once that's been added in, then you're going to add in your packet of ranch dressing. And you wanna make sure that you cover the steak very well with that ranch. Next, you're going to add in the packet of au jus gravy mix. And again, you want to make sure that you cover the entire roast with your au jus gravy. And now go ahead and add in your one stick of unsalted butter. And then you want to start adding in four to six pepperoncinis and lay them around the butter and on top of your roast. Now my family and I are a little bit different in the way that we prepare our Mississippi roast because we really enjoy the pepperoncinis. So what I like to do is include three pepperoncinis for each person in our family. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the optional items and so I'm adding in two cups of the baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I really enjoy vegetables in my crock pot meals and so that's why I like adding in these optional items. It gives it just a little bit more flavor and the reason why I like using the baby Dutch yellow potatoes is because I don't have to peel them and I also don't need to cube them so it works out perfectly for this roast. And then last but not least, we're going to add in our last optional item, which is two cups of baby carrots. Now that all of the ingredients have been placed inside of the crock pot, we're going to place the lid right on top. And then we're going to cook our meal on low for eight hours. And so now that the eight hours is over, we're going to remove the lid from our crock pot. And as you can see here, there is lots of liquid to keep the roast and the vegetables all nice and moist so they don't dry out. So you can see here clearly that the baby potatoes and the baby carrots are very well done. And then as we lift the steak, you will also see that the steak falls apart very easily, which tells me that this is done. And so you can go ahead and start either shredding your roast or you can serve it like how my family and I like it, is we like to serve it chunky, so then it's more like little pieces of steak. And now let's go ahead and show you how I serve the plate to my family. I like to go into the garden and pick some lettuce leaves and then just make a little garden salad to the side and then you have the Mississippi roast to the side of that. Now Scott, he likes his Mississippi roast on a bed of steamed white rice. So again, that is another option that you can do that is not shown here in this picture. 
So anyways, that is it for the day. Thank you everybody for being here all the way to the end. If you'd like to watch more Crock-Pot videos, go ahead and click on that picture on the top right corner and it'll take you directly to that playlist. If you'd like to know more about the frozen meal exchanges that I participate in and you'd like to know how to put the Mississippi Roast together for a meal exchange, go ahead and click on that picture at the top left corner. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and show me that you like this video. Also, leave a comment down below if you've tried this recipe. I would love to know what you guys think. I love engaging in conversation with you guys. If you are new, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you like this video and you like this channel and the content that I have on this channel, then please do not forget to share with your friends and your loved ones on the networks that you belong to. The networks that I belong to are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and Pinterest. So anyways, that is it for the day, everybody. Thank you once again for being here all the way to the end slate. And until next time, I will be cooking with you guys soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.